Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 37 of my Regrow series. This mod pack is available on the Feed the Beast launcher and Cursed Voice, and was created by the Phoenix Lodge. So, last episode, we took a look around the base, and I showed off some of the changes that I had made, some of the bugs that I had fixed with the tree farm and how I decided to go about automating my farms. Um, we also took a look at some Mari culture stuff. So we got a little bit of stuff prepared for Mari, uh, Mari culture. Um, I wanted to get that stuff done last episode, but Doing the base tour took a little longer than expected, and I didn't quite have enough time to actually craft the jewelry with you guys last time. And the enchantments took a really long time and a lot of XP. So, before I show you guys what I've got, I'm going to show you what it took to get it. So, these are all the pearls that are pretty much garbage to me. These are all the ones that I enchanted with enchants that I'm really not interested in. So, um, although never hungry five on a pink pearl, no, I'd want that on a purple, but at max level three anyways. So, yeah, but that's how many pearls I had enchant. These aren't all level 60 enchants. A lot of them were level 30 enchants or 33 like this one's a level 30 enchant that's why i have so many of them so i got very fortunate with my level 60 enchants and got most of them fairly soon so um this is what i have got so we're gonna need this so red pearl i got the elemental infinity that's all i want on the red one because we're going to make a ring out of that so we'll grab seven gold right now not seven stacks i just want seven gold and wrong way that way there we go um so for the purple one is going to be the necklace i got superman 3 i actually got the superman 3 so that was nice hungry 4 or never hungry 4 and then elemental infinity so we'll grab all that stuff up and that um fall resistance 4 which is going to get knocked down to 3 which i'm fine with uh, Elemental Infinity and Reaper 3. I figured I'd go with the Reaper 3 instead of the 1 up because then I, at least I keep all my stuff, I'm pretty sure is what the book said. So, um, let's craft these up. So, first, let's start with the ring. It takes 7 gold, like so. Gets us an unworked red pearl ring. And I can't tell if the enchantment transferred over. The one I'm worried about is the purple necklace. When I do it, I seem to lose enchantments when I was doing it in my creative or er, test world. Well, it, I guess it is a creative world, but it is a test world nonetheless. So there's our unworked bracelet. And now the necklace. So I don't know if pearl placement really matters on this. Um, I don't know. Let's put one there, one there. What do we got here? We got Never Hungry, Elemental, and we'll put Superman 3 here. Superman's one of the ones that I don't want to lose because it's the hardest, one of the hardest ones to get, especially level 3. Never Hungry's not that bad to get. I'm so scared to craft this, but... So let's go work these on the bench, or on the anvil, blacksmith's anvil. We'll start with this one because I want to be disappointed sooner rather than later. Because I know I'm going to have lost an enchantment. I just really hope it's not the one that I want. Oh, haha, -ha, I'm out of XP at the moment. I forgot you can't work stuff unless you at least have some XP on you. Is two levels going to be good enough? It doesn't actually use up the XP from what I found. You just have to have some in your inventory. 
So this is going to take a while because this thing, these things require a lot of wax with the hammer. Too bad it wasn't whack-a-mole. Boom, 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 boom. Get points for doing it. So, I don't know, like I've done a little bit of testing on this, but this is like pretty much the first time I've actually really played with Mari Culture Jewelry. So, I don't know if there's a way of placing the pearls in a certain spot to keep. Oh, I got all three of them. Nice. I actually kept all three of them. Usually I lose one. Oh, that is a bonus. Okay, cool. But yeah, I don't know if there's any special placement to put the pearls on, if there's a max enchantment that you can craft them with. I do know that you can add enchantments to them after they're crafted, you just gotta rework them. So basically you would just enchant a pearl, add it to the necklace in, a, or in either the necklace or the bracelet, add it to it in the crafting grid, and then just rework it. But I found in my test world that it would remove some enchants or um, not actually put that enchant on. So that's why I'm really glad that necklace worked out first try. So let's work the bracelet and then all we got left is the ring. And I will show you why I wanted the red ring with the elemental effect on it. Which I was kind of, I kind of thought about it, and I should have probably did it before I started working on the steam boilers, because it is a really cool enchant. I showed it to you, or I showed you guys what the enchant was last episode, or what the chant enchant did. But I will actually show you guys in person this episode what it does. We just got to get it worked and equipped. And the one nice thing about having that never hungry, I probably won't have to craft food anymore, which will be really nice. And the reason I wanted the purple elemental in affinity enchant or whatever it's called, um, the one on here is because you get your immune to magic damage. So I'm kind of hoping that when you fight the Gaia spirit, that it is considered um, magical damage. Um, where did I put the book? Did I put the book? Book won't be in there. Book's not in there. Where did I put the book? There's the book. Okay. So, before I take a look at that, let's grab a bucket. And we're going to go grab a bucket of lava. And we're going to come over here. Over here, somewhere where I know there's a floor underneath here. We're going to put a bucket down. Now, usually, you wouldn't want to jump in that, because you'll light on fire, right? But, with that enchantment that I have on this ring... I am immune to fire and lava damage. So, now I can't be burnt to a crisp, which is very nice. I really like that feature, so that is why I went with that one on that one, or on the ring. I know I could have probably made it with something else, like tried putting it on the purple one or something like that, but... I just figured, why not? You can only have one enchantment on the ring anyways. And with the way I've got them spread out, it works. So, um, but yeah. So let's take a look at the book quickly, because, um, uh, the purple one is immune to magic damage, red was immune to fire and lava damage, and pink was killing enemy restores health. So that's why I figured I would go with those colors. Is because then that way when I fight the Gaia spirit, I actually have a decent chance. But now with that fire and lava immuni immunity, I can go into the nether and actually maybe try and find a firestone for if I ever need to heat up this other boiler down here. Um, 
that one there because it will help heat up the boiler instead of burning coal because I think this thing burns a lot more coal when it's cold than it does when it's hot. So yeah, that's always an option. But this system's running really good, so I might not even need to do that, but we'll see. Um, so the other enchantment that we have not talked about, which was the one that I did this all for, besides the fire and immunity, fire and lava immunity, is now open sesame. I have created flight. No village closer than two per main long. Oh, cool. I can actually... I didn't know I could do that. I thought that was the binding for Mari culture. Um, enchant key V by default. Um, I knew it said that in there. So let's see what's bound. CFO empower... Well, I don't, but it doesn't say that it's this is a nice feature is this is all your books that you have put through your inventory come up in here and you can actually read them through here which is very nice. They don't even have to be on your inventory. And I hit H to get that. This is the Eldridge, or I can't even pronounce the name of it. What mod is that? That is this mod here. I'm pretty sure that's what this mod is. Um. So yeah, I don't know what's conflicting with V and I don't know how to change it. But now we have creative flight, so now I can actually go out and look for things that I'm going to need, like some stuff for witchery, and I don't have to worry about these guys hurting me. Ah, suckers. Because those guys are all fast. That is a gravestone's cat, I'm pretty sure. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't get me. Um, why is my sword not shooting? So, yeah, very nice. I got creative flight now. Like I said, the speed boost I'm not too worried about. I will try and figure it out, though, but V is bound to something else, so I don't know what the key is for that. So, for the second half of this, we are going to try and get some of the quests claimed, and maybe... We might craft a couple if we have time. I tried doing a couple of the quests last episode, but I think that was kind of a mistake on my part because it made it so that it was a little harder to get that stuff done last episode. So, click to start. We only got two quests to claim anyways. I'm pretty sure one of them is in Witchery, so how the world grows. And it was to make this more mutations. So some plants are still unstable, are unable to be mutated using simple mutandus. But you found a way to create a more potent version of the stuff and bind it with some other magics to even... Oh, yeah, that's to make mutandus extremists. Okay, um, and bind it with some other magics to be even more potent. Making Mutandus Extremist requires about 50 power from a nearby altar. Done. That was easy. The next part of this is to make the mutating sprig. I think that's how you say that. Sprig. Some plants... Oh, no. That says the same thing. <laughs> the mutating sprig can be used to mutate some things in specific, I can't say that word, configurations. To make it, you will need about 3080 altar power if you, if the cauldron isn't augmented by chalk circles. Oh, I didn't know you could do it that way either, but I made sure that my altar was at 3000 power. So we'll claim that one. 
Um, one thing I was trying to make, I don't think it's on here. Um, uh, which is how, what was I trying to make that for? No, not that. You see those brews sleeping. Is it the witch's hat? How do I make the witch's hat? I'm still trying to understand witchery quite a bit too. Like, I've never really played with the mod sides in this pack, so there's a lot of things that I don't know about witchery. Oh, that's what I was trying to make, was I was trying to make redstone soup. Um, because I was trying to get more power out of my altar. When we take a look, you need, this is in the kettle too. And I didn't realize that at the time. I hadn't made a kettle yet. But you need redstone, tongue of dog, belladonna, mandrake root, and wool of bat, and this drop of luck. And to get the drop of luck, you need mandrake, um, nether wart, tear of the goddess, Refined Evil and Mutandus Extremis and the Refined Evil is a gas here and Diamond Vapor in a distillery. Well, I made all that stuff. Um, where's the book? And I hadn't read the book yet. I totally forgot there was a book on brews. Um, do I have the book still? I could have swore I put it in one of the backpacks. There it is. So let's go take a quick look at that, and then we'll craft a couple things and get some more quests done. Upsy daisy, let's go out here. Oh, I so love being able to fly. So nice. So I moved a few things down, burnt a couple trees down after I placed the cauldron down, because fire lit, and yeah, burnt a couple trees down, but yeah, it's all good. I don't know why it's so stuttery over here. Probably because of the fire. But if you look, my cauldron is full of fluid dot witchery colon brew. And that was everything I threw in for this drop of luck. I threw in all of this stuff. And I just figured it would only take a couple minutes and it would make it. Well, it's been like this for a couple days now. So, and that's a couple days of playing this. Um, and yeah, I threw a wither skeleton on here. It gave me a whole bunch more power. And I'm at 5,400 altar power. But I'm not sure if I was at that power when I started this brew. Because when I looked in the book... Oh, look, I'm still on that page. A drop of luck is, it gives you the recipe, and then it also, when you highlight over the output, it says altar power costs 5,000, four rituals 7,000. So, I don't know, and it also says it's rare and hard to make, so I kind of think that I might as well break this, and maybe try and do it again. Um, but first, I want to put up fire so let's do oh i gotta break the cauldron hopefully that empties out by doing that um let's put that there for a second put that there grab this back um i should have flint and steel on me that like that throw that down there and then we need three buckets of water look at that i got three buckets left after i did my lava experiment er, experiment that's the word i was looking for words are hard hey give me a bucket of water okay so let's throw this in here like so like so and like so and now we can get rid of the buckets now, drop of luck was Mandrake Root, Nether Wart, Tear of the Goddess, Refined Evil, and Mutandus Extremis. 
So I should have a little bit of everything. Here's the mutating sprig that I made. Um, so we need care of the goddess, which is right there. Um, we need mandrake. Um, do I have any refined? Yes, I have one refined evil left. We needed another wart. Was that everything? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, where did it go? Right there. Drop the left. One, two, three, four, five. So, and I do know that you gotta throw this stuff in the cauldron in a certain order. So. Mandrake root, nether ward, diamond vapor, refined evil, and mutandus extremes. Now I'm not getting any effects as it stands right now, so I don't think it worked again. So I don't know. If you guys know what I'm doing wrong, be sure to uh, comment down in the comments down below and let me know what I'm doing wrong with that. Because that is the second time I've tried making that and I can't. Like, do I need to do a ritual in order to do it? But I would kind of like this so I can make redstone soup. And I think my game just froze. Oh, there we go. Um, and be able to fill this chalice because I don't know what else I can put on this table to get more power out of it because I'm at 5,400 right now and I know I could go fight the ender dragon and put the dragon egg down here but that'll only get me so much too so I don't know what to do and I know I'm going to need more power from witchery eventually so... Give me some ideas. Tell me what else I can put on the altar to get more power out of it. So, yeah, that's probably going to be my standstill at Witchery. Um, what one are we under? Leonard's. Yeah, so we're going to make the Witch's Hat. Um, we were looking at that. That's easy enough. That's just some golden thread, some glowstone, and some impregnated leather, which is diamond vapor, whip of magic, and four leather. So I'll probably get that stuff ready for next episode, because I gotta make the... whatchamacallit? Um, do I have the stuff to make it here? I'm gonna find it first. Um, this thingy. Spinning wheel. Um, one wall. A stick. Some wood attuned and some item frames. I have four item frames. A stick. An attuned stone. Um, I got three pieces of wood and a piece of wool. It's like I was prepared for this, guys. Um, can I shift click it? Come on, where'd you go? There you are. So click. Sweet. Another quest down. Um, that'll be this one. So, you spin me right round, right round. Which is where some pretty stylish robes. You tried to buy some from your local coven witch. No, I haven't because I haven't found any. But they insisted that you make your own. To do that, you're going to need a spinning wheel. Why not go full hog and make a magical one that will use power from the altar to do the spinning itself. Manual labor for chomps. Ooh. Hinting at some automation for witchery. So we get eight width of magic for that. <clears throat> mm. That was trippy. That, oh no, that's on that one. Okay, witch's hat for that one. And now this opened up and it wants another witch's hat. And a witch's robe. How is that made? So we already know how the witch's hat is made. 
right? Witch's hat. I think it's the same one. I don't think there's any difference. And then there's the witch's robes. Creepers will ignore the wearer. For the discreet witch. So I need a whole bunch more impregnated leather, a creeper heart, and some more golden thread, which is a hay bale and a whiff of magic on the spinning wheel, which is not that bad, honestly. So what are we doing for time? We're almost out of time. So that's enough for witchery for today. Um, like I said, if you guys know what I'm doing wrong with this cauldron, please tell me in the comments down below because I can't wrap my head around it. I am going to check some YouTube videos and maybe do watch a mod spotlight on witchery and check that out and see if that helps me out. Um, so, one thing I want to make before we end this episode is something for Batania. And I don't know if I have all the stuff in here that I need or not. So, let's take a look. B-O-T-A-N-I-A. Holy crap, I spelled something right for once, guys. Make sure you applaud me. Because it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like it's new from Batania. Same with that one, and... Oh, I hate it when Thomcraft does this. Strange whiff whispers reveal secrets to you, and all I hear is a heart beating. That actually gave me chills, I think. Um, so, the Batania thing I want to make, I think is way up here. Um, no, not the drum. What's with all the missing blocks? Very, oh, I know why. Um, I don't see what I want to craft. I don't see, there it is. So, Tannic Brewery. We need a brewing stand, a rune of mana. I really hope I have that because I don't have time to craft that. And a block of mana steel. So, brewery. Let's make one of these. Or brewing stand, not brewery. Really? You were going to do that to me. Gobble. Cowl. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble pot. <laughs> um, so brewing stand and a mana tablet, or mana ruin, which I'm pretty sure is all the tiny stuff. Yes. Hopefully, I think I have some living rock in here. Actually, let's see something. If I do this... Oh, look at that. I have all the stuff to do it. It's like I was prepared or something. So we're going to go drop this. I don't know if I can actually... Or if I have time to do anything with it. And I still kind of got to play around with it. Because I don't know a lot about it. Life of the world now. Where's all the Batania quests? The way the world works? Yes. Oh, and I gotta make a mana glass vase. Mana glass vase. Mana? Is it all one word? Glass vase. What is that? Oh, we can make panes out of mana glass. Cool. Grab me some of those. And detection task. We have to make a vial of vigor. So, let's quickly read this. Simple potions leave much to be desired, particularly due to how few you can carry at once. Perhaps using mana as a re reagent will allow a more refined brewing system to aid you. First step would be to upgrade your brewing stand to brewing stand to able to incro incorporate mana as well as develop a mana attuned equivalent to the simple glass bottle. 
To create potions with the new brewery, you will need to first place the vial on the brewery either by right clicking or by dropping it on. From there, place the ingredients on as well for a simple potion of vigor, vigor, which will increase the power of your strikes. You will need some netherwort, blaze powder, and glowstone. Once everything is placed on the brewery, simply point the mana spreader at it or attach a spark and the mana will flow and process them into fresh potions. So let's go try this out. I'm sorry guys, this is going to be a little bit long of an episode. Um, so what did it say? Blaze powder. We need one of those. Um, nether wart and glowstone. Now, the only other question is I think I have some sparks in here actually. Um, Batania stuff. Yes, I do. You guys come with me. I have tons of mana tablets in there, by the way. Um, let's go out to the Batania area. I still haven't done anything with the Batania area. I do plan on fixing it up. Hopefully there's no bad guys out here. I don't know if I lit it up or not. Um, I don't know what I want to do about the Batania area. I think I'm just going to go with a basic cold generation mana thing for now and go from there. But I haven't decided yet. So, um, where do I want to drop this thing? Let's put it right there. And then we can drop a spark on top of it. And we need our glass vials. So shift click a spark on top or not. I thought it said I could put a spark on it. Why you know let me do? Okay, well, let's try this then. Nether wart, blaze powder, glowstone. Now you let me put a spark on it? Huh. I don't know what's up with that, okay? So, where's my wand? Put this stuff in here so I don't need it right now. Please be in this bag. Of course not, unless I'm entirely blind. Let's back. Sweet. Second try. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take one of these mana spreaders. I'm in fine mode, right? Yes. Okay. Take this and point you at that thing. Hey. Mana spreader. Go. Thank you. I could probably put it closer and then that way it would craft faster, but... These are the Dreamwood spreaders, so. I really would like to know why I couldn't put a spark on top of that. Ooh, achievement! Fireworks! Pretty. Woo! It's been a while since we have fireworks on this series. Um, let me just grab one of these again and double check and make sure. I'd rather have a spark on it. Why you know let me do? Okay, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Maybe it's something to do with regrowth. I'll know because it was the book that told me I could do it. Okay, open the book. And we get a vial of vanity, vanity's emptiness. Claim reward. Oh, and that opened up. Smells like power. Okay, I will take a look at that off camera. This is what I actually want to get into, is I want to make the tainted blood pendants. Um, 
so yeah, we still have to fight the guy spirit. And we have this to take a look at. Um, and I think with the potion brewing on Batania, you can have more than one potion in a bottle. I think that's what it was getting at by saying, um, what should we call it? So there's all these in potions, potions, right? So you can have more potions to a flask. Like these ones give you four and then these ones give you six. So yeah. And then the pendants, I don't know. I'll have to take a look into them. But I think you can have more than one enchant on the pendants too. But I'm not sure about that. These look like they've changed texture. What is that guy? Oh, I know what those are. Assembly Halo. I've always wanted to make one of these and I never have. Maybe I should. How hard is it to make one of these? Oh, and Batania looks like they got banners now too. Oh, Cloak of... Crafting table, yeah, I can make that. I'll do that next episode, though, because I don't think I have a crafting table on here. So what is this? Emptiness, I don't know what that does. And strength, too. Um, one other quest before we go, just so I can clear it up, because it's been done for a while. Like I said, sorry, guys, I know this episode's getting really long, but I made the focus wand of shock. Gets us an uncommon treasure for those and a focused pouch. I'm not going to read this. You guys can read that yourselves. Um, what did we get? We got some coins and a diamond by the looks of it and some potions. Some more potions. What kind of bags were these? Uncommon. Some more coins. Some more potions and coins. And some more potions and some more coins. So this is the main thing I was after is this pouch. Because now I can keep this in my inventory and keep all my focuses in the one pouch. Because I'm pretty sure I have three focuses now. Because I also made a focus or... Yeah, the equal trade focus. I have the shock focus. And I also have the warding focus. Can I open this up and put these in manually? Sweet. And then if we hold F, cool. Shift F removes it, and that should have put it in the pouch. Yes, it did. Cool. So, anyways, sorry about the long episode, guys. Um, that's two long episodes in a row, I'm pretty sure. But I wanted to get all that stuff done and caught up, and then the questing kind of took over. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, like always, slap that like button. Helps my channel grow. Let's me know you guys are enjoying what you see. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let's you know when I have new videos out and all that fun stuff. Favorite the video with your friends. Sh share the video with your friends. Favorite the video. Share the video with your friends. Comment down below, especially about that witchery stuff, because I have no clue when it comes to that. Um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.